In this example, we are asked to calculate the turnover number of an enzyme. Now, we previously have seen how we can calculate the specific activity of an enzyme. And this is defined as the change of moles of substrate per time unit, usually minute or second, divided by the amount of enzyme given in gram or milligram. With the turnover number, we do the pretty much the same thing. We calculate the change of the moles of substrate per time unit, but this time we give the amount of the enzyme in moles. And since we then have the same unit for the enzyme and the substrate, the moles cancel out and all that is left is this per time unit. And that gives us the turnover number. So how are we going to do this? Well, here we've got our uh, description of the reaction. We find a Vmax of 21.1 millimolar per minute. And this is happening in a total reaction volume of 3 milliliter. We have been given what we use in terms of enzyme. And we also know that the enzyme has a molecular mass of 65,000 uh, Dalton. And with this information, we can uh, do the calculation. So first of all, let's calculate the change of moles. So change of moles of the substrate of substrate per time unit. So here per time, here we have 21.1 times 10 to the minus 3 mole per liter and per minute. So that is our Vmax here. That indicates the change. Uh, so we've got this millimolar, that is the 10 to the minus 3. And we do that in a volume of a total of 3 milliliter. So 3 times 10 to the minus 3 liter. And the liter cancel out. Uh, and we get basically 21.1 times 3 times 10 to the minus, so we've, we've got minus 3 and minus 3, minus 6 mole per minute. And of course I could calculate this uh, here, that would give me probably, what does that give me? That gives me 63.3 times 10 to the minus 6 mole per minute. Okay, so I can now calculate the amount of the enzyme. Amount of enzyme. And we calculate that first in gram. Like we would do for the specific activity. Uh, so here we've got uh, a stock solution 56, 56.9 times 10 to the minus, we've got microgram minus 6 gram in 1 micro milliliter per milliliter, so 1 times 10 to the minus 3 liter, and we use 35 microliter of that, so 35 times 10 to the minus 6 liter, that is here this volume, so the liter cancel out again, and um, we then get this, uh, so we, for this we get 56.9, so 1 times 10 to the minus 3 we cancel out out versus a minus 3. So we've got 56.9 times 35 times 10 to the minus 9 and the unit that we have is 
gram. So that is the uh, amount of gram that we have. And now we can also convert the gram into mole. We know that the enzyme has a molecular mass, so molecular mass of 65 kilodalton, which means that one mole is equivalent to 65,000 gram. And now we can calculate that in moles. So we've got mole, so we've got one mole equals 65 times 10 to the 3 grams times 56.9 times 35 times 10 to the minus 9 mole gram I should say so the gram cancels out and we've got the unit mole left. So that is basically what we get for the mole. So I can write this a little bit nicer. The enzyme in mole would be 56.9 times 35 times 10 to the minus 9 divided by 65 times 10 to the three mole that we have here. That is the enzyme. So let's uh, sort of highlight this. So here we've got the mole of enzyme that we have. And here we had the change in the substrate. So what do we need to do now? We need to combine these two. So for the turnover number, turnover number, what we calculate basically is the change of moles of substrate divided by the uh, moles of enzyme. So we just simply put that together. So we've got 63.3 times 10 to the minus 6 moles of substrate per minute. And we divide this by this number that we would get here, 56.9 times 35 times 10 to the minus 9 over 65 times 10 to the 3 mole of the enzyme that we have here. And if we put that into a calculator and if we calculate that, we would get the moles would cancel out and we would get roughly 2.06 6 times 10 to the power of 6 and the unit that is left is minute to the minus 1 and we can convert that into seconds so from minute into seconds we just simply divide this number 2.066 times 10 to the 6 divided by 60 and we would get a value of roughly uh, 34,500, roughly 34,500 per second. So that means that the enzyme is able to convert 34,500 substrate molecules per second, each molecule of the enzyme. So that's quite a, quite a fast rate for an enzyme, but uh, quite typical. So I hope this makes sense and uh, thank you very much for watching.